Alright, all right. now we got proper lighting. We have everything back to where it needs to be. Um, I did the prediction video earlier today, and now it's time for the post fight. Uh, the fight went down just the way I said it would. Um, I was rooting for Angulo. It's just that the dog didn't have it in him. And you can tell from the opening bell, he was couldn't get in a groove. He seemed dry as far as not like getting a workout, but it looked shot. You know, like he was drained or something. Like it killed him to make weight. He had no authority on any of his shots. He wasn't putting his legs, his hips into his punches. He looked really bad early on. He got a little warmed up when Canelo was allowing him to. And see, this is the problem that I was having with the fight and that I knew would be a problem that this would be a highlight reel for Canelo Alvarez because Angulo's not going to move his head, you know that he'll walk into every shot and their whole strategy is that we're not going to get our hand raised going to the scorecard so if it gets to 12 and they ring the bell, we lose we got to go for the knockout which is fine by me, but you got to let the punches go Canelo knows, you know, well, his team knew that Angulo's going to throw the left hook. We're going to guard against that all night. He can hit us with anything else he wants, but we're going to guard against that left hook. I mean, he hit him with some good body shots, some authority, some sharp, hard, short shots to the body. Uh, Angulo did, uh, but he was not active enough with combination. He roughed up Canelo a little bit on the inside when Canelo was taking a break because he expended a lot of energy in the first five rounds. They thought they would cut Angulo and probably get him out of there around six or seven. Once that didn't happen and the pace of the fight was starting to you know take a toll, Canelo had to take breaks. And he had enough space to. So it wasn't a, a situation that uh, Canelo was not going to make it. But they stopped the fight anyway, and I believe the tenth round, which uh, was very weird. Tony Weeks after an uppercut jumps in and stops the fight, and Canelo was winning handedly. But when by doing that, you're not protecting Angulo. You're you're basically ensuring that Canelo gets a stoppage victory. I mean, it was at a point where you let the corner do that in this type of fight. You look and see what kind of reaction is Angulo is going to have at the course of the punch. Like, was it something to throw off his equilibrium and tell him, hey, you keep taking these shots, you know, I'm going to have to stop it unless you, you know, show me something. I mean, nothing. You just walked in off one shot and stopped the fight. Especially a fight of this magnitude, the way these two warriors were fighting back and forth, you know. Canelo dropping his hands. That was a good round. Canelo dropped his hands and was going back and forth. They, he was fighting Angulo. Because he knew at this point, this guy is shot. He can't hurt me with pretty much anything he's throwing. And I got this fight. So, you know, it was, pretty, it was a pretty good fight. It was really entertaining. I really loved the first fight. I won money off the underdog. So, I felt pretty good. But... It only created more confusion at the end, especially at Tony Weeks. And Showtime really stirred up the pot, putting the camera on Tony Weeks and talking about the ref, interviewing the ref, and how he, how you know, like what he, they want us. They're stirring up the pot for more controversy by doing that. I mean, I'm quite sure he felt he was doing the right thing, but what's Showtime doing? Instigating it, you know? It's like, come on. And Canelo, it's not his fault. He did his job. No blame on him. I mean, he he was more active than I thought he was going to be. I thought he would be more on the outside. But he expended a lot of energy, and I liked the game plan that they had going into the fight. It was the right game plan to use. They took a gamble saying that we're going to try to get Angulo out of here early, you know, bust him up, and try to get a stoppage that way. But then they had enough in the tank where he could box it out. So, going forward now, will Canelo Alvarez fight Eric Svangelar? No, we know he's not going to fight the winner of uh, Canelo and Cotto. I mean, Cotto and Mar Martinez. 
So we, we're again forced to wait and see what happens. But I'm out. Canelo's back on a win streak. That's all they want. <laughs> I'm out.